Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family and also go check out my Instagram. So today we're going to be jumping into a very exciting video. Finally. Oh my gosh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably already know the story, but I'm going to run over it real quick if you don't and why I was so irritated. So I filmed a coffee and chill and if I don't delete the footage, it'll be up Monday. But there's a good chance I may delete the footage, but I was in a mood today. So there's that. So this video, as you guys can see from the title, is Kylie Cosmetics Summer Collection. I'm kind of ticked because I would have really liked to have a video filmed with this and would have had it already up on my channel and everything, but it's whatever. You know, I open it up and up on top I have these three products that as you guys can see are all in the summer packaging and I'm like, oh awesome, you know, it's so cute and I'm digging at the bottom and the palette's all wrapped up in bubble wrap and this is what I pull out. Not the summer palette. This is the cocoa palette that Kylie did with her sister Chloe. Uh, oh, so mad. Now I have my order form right here. Everything. Like everything's legit. Like I ordered right. I didn't order the wrong thing. Nothing. I'm going to make this negative part of this a lot shorter. Um, if you've seen my stories then you guys seen the gist of it. But I emailed because obviously I wanted the palette that I ordered. I wanted to film this video and I was really excited about Kylie's summer collection. I've never had an issue with them in the past, so I didn't expect to have an issue. I told them the situation. I told them that I ordered correctly. I have my order form right here. I mean, I literally like included everything. I included exactly what I got, which is two different lip products and a single shadow but I literally explained everything. Like I explained the product, the shade I got, everything as legit as I could make it. And then I said, but I ordered the Under the Sea palette and I received the Coco palette. Literally played email tag with them back and forth. I was asked the same questions over and over again. I don't know if it's on their end that they, like different people are responding to me. Maybe they're getting confused, but if that's their job, you think that they could scroll down to the previous emails and see the issue. Finally, I get an email, it'll be shipped. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. Long story short, I got the stuff, I got everything. I finally got the palette in. So I'm gonna sit down and film. I'm sorry it's a little late, but it's right here. I'll show you guys some close-ups and swatches in a minute. But I do have the cocoa palette. It is kind of, Nice to have a free palette out of the whole ordeal that I went through, but yeah, I originally never intended on buying this palette, but since I have it, I thought, why not do a video on it soon? So I may do like a little get ready with me type ordeal soon and use that palette. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this collection. So for the eyes, I did pick up the Under the Sea palette, and it's so pretty. I will be showing you guys close-ups of all of this. But I love her packaging. I always love her packaging. I think it's just so pretty. I do kind of wish that the actual palette looked like the Unicarton, but at the same time, like the actual like sleek packaging, I really like. I think it's so beautiful. And anytime it's under the sea or I feel like mermaid vibes, I'm like, I die. So this palette actually really did it for me. I thought it was really pretty. I have done so many colorful palettes lately that I was actually ready for something that had some warmth to it, but was more neutral, but still had some color to it. And I feel like this is a really like nice summer palette to have. I feel like this is good for traveling to go on vacation and stuff like that. There's some really pretty shades in this palette. And yeah, I overall just think it's really pretty. I do wanna show you guys some close-ups of this before I go in and swatch it, but I will be showing you guys swatches on my arm. And this palette retails for $42. One thing I can say up upon receiving this is the fact that this palette is rather small. I do think that, like it's a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be compared to the palettes I've gotten from Kylie in the past because this is $42. So I mean her Sipping Pretty birthday palette I want to say was like 60 something. So definitely a jump there but still for $42 these shadows are rather small. Besides the palette for my eyes I did pick up one of these shimmer eye glaze 
and I got the shade Aqua Mama. I thought it looked so beautiful. I do have a close of it. There is kind of like a little white. It's actually really nice. It has like a little handle on it. And then you open up to the product, you guys will see in the close up, but it's a really pretty blue green shade. So I am excited to jump into it. Probably will try to throw it in this look tonight. Um, I'm just going to do a full first impressions on this, not really a four look moment. Um, kind of missing this vibe of just a first impressions. So that's what I'm going to go with for today. But yeah. I'm ready to go ahead and dive into these. The um, Shimmer Eye Glaze retails for $20 um, on launch day. I don't know if this is still available or not, but on launch day, when you added the palette to your cart, you could add an eye glaze for $10. So that's what I did with this. I really do like the packaging though. I think it's sleek and nice. Again, I wish that you got more of like the under the sea mermaid vibe from the actual products too, but let's just see how the actual products are. So first I'm going to jump into the palette. I'm going to go into Hook You In, which is this right here. The shade names are so cute. I'm going to start blending that shade into my crease with this Exo Beauty Vegan Blender. I just have a tart shape tape on my eyes today. I didn't really go in with the full paint pot. I was trying to conceal some blemishes earlier, so I just did my shape tape on my eyes. I'm going to go into Hook You In. There is some kickback. Her palettes normally do for me though. It's not like a big ordeal though. I really usually like the formula of her palette, so I'm hoping that this one performs just as well. What are you saying? Not the time or the place, baby. It's not right. It's not right. This is a very interesting transition shade. It's very like peachy, yellowish. I really like it. The shade names are so cute. There's Sea Pearl, Welcome Abroad, Salty Sweet, Boss Beach, Shore, like I like the puns here, About You, My Treasure, Abandoned Ship, Seashell Kisses, Mermaid Mama, Can I Keep You, Hook You In, and Be Pacific. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so torn and now I kind of feel like I should have done a four look, one palette. So you guys will probably definitely see more looks with this palette soon, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this palette down. I want to go into Mermaid Mama so bad, but I do purple all the time. And I was thinking about going into this like coral shade, Can I Kelp You shade, which I think I said wrong a while ago. I said, I, I think I said, can I help you? But it's Kelp You. It is so pretty. so beautiful. It's very glittery, which I normally am not a big fan of, but that is so beautiful. I think I am going to go into Abandoned Ship though, which is the metallic like coral shade. It's kind of what I planned with the dress that I'm wearing. So I just kind of want to go into this and I think I'm just going to start blending it with a blender brush. It is a shimmer, so it's probably going to go everywhere, but I don't want it to be too intense, so I think I'll get the best results kind of blowing it out with a blender brush. I'm actually gonna go with my finger. I am getting a lot of fallout and I don't want it to be too, too pigmented because I do want to include the shimmer eye glaze, but I still want it to be somewhat decent. I kind of like the shape that I got with it though. So I'm actually gonna do the same thing on this side. There's a lot of fallout with this, so I don't recommend it if you already have your foundation on. But since I don't and I can easily clean it up, I'm gonna go back into it and try to get that shape again on this side. And now back in with my finger to kind of Pat some more down on that. It's a really pretty coral pink shade. Definitely what I was wanting to go with today. I'm gonna take Sea Pearl, which is that top shade up here, to highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And 
And now I'm gonna go into the Shimmer Eye Glaze. I'm so excited to play with this. I've never tried this from her. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's gonna be like a super shock shadow like ColourPop, a Jelly Much shadow like ColourPop. I have no idea. It feels rather like dense when you dip a brush in. I just have my flat eyeshadow brush. This is the vegan eyeshadow from EXO Beauty. It doesn't really look like it's picking up much. I'm gonna be using this in the inner corner today, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's picking up much pigment. I may have to wet my brush or go in with my finger, which I really don't wanna go with my finger with this kind of shade. I feel like that would just get really messy and out of hand. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's not really doing anything um, with just a brush like this. I'm gonna go ahead and dip in with my pinky and see what happens. So yeah, I'm getting more with my pinky. I'm gonna try to clean up around the edges of this. So I don't know how much that recorded. It did shut off in the middle of me working with it. So I did just have to end up using my finger to apply it to get like where I'm at now. I definitely need to clean it up some. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this so far though. I felt like, I don't know, it's really pretty now that it's on, but it's just kind of messy to deal with. I think I'll feel better about it once my face is all cleaned up and I have more going on than just this. But from there, I just dip back into Abandoned Ship, the like coral pink color, and I just kind of build around the edges so that there's not like too harsh of lines. Just trying to blend both together and trying to make it even, my OCD. I went ahead and finished up some face makeup off camera. I'm gonna dip back into this palette and I'm gonna take the Abandoned Ship shade as lightly as I can and kind of brush along my lily lash line to create kind of a hue of that pink coral shade down here. I'm also gonna apply some mascara. Today I'm gonna be going into my Man Eater from Tarte. All other makeup will be down below in the description box if you're interested. Last step is the lip product. So I think I'm kind of wanting to go for the more nude shade, which is this, but I am gonna try both of them out because this is a new formula that Kylie came out with. It's called Lip Blush. It's kind of pretty much supposed to be like ColourPop's ultra blotted lips, I figure, but it's called Lip Blush and I did get the shade Bikini Bod. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Yeah, it's very much so like ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lips. It's been a little bit since I've tried that formula. I do have some, but like I said, it's been a little bit since I've used it. I definitely need to compare the two though because I am getting similar vibes with it, but this is the shade Bikini Bon. I still do want to go with the nude. I might actually try it just on top of this. This is the shade Beach Bum and it's just one of her matte lipsticks. I'm familiar with this formula and I really like it. That shade is beautiful. I love her lipsticks. They just feel so bougie and I'm glad to have another one in my collection. But yeah, this is the completed look. First impressions so far. I really am enjoying this collection. I am glad that I bought it. I think it's really pretty. When I can pick up a palette and be completely inspired to do more looks, even after the first one, that really helps make up my decision on if I like the palette or not. And I definitely am getting a lot of inspiration with this palette. This purple shade looks gorgeous. I mean, the green shade, I just feel like that just screams Ariel. <laughs> but also like this glitter shade, 
just so much more that I could do with this palette. And I also feel like I'm going to start diving into more neutral shades. I'm starting to kind of fill the itch for some more bold lips and neutral eye looks. But yeah, I'm super excited to play with it some more. I'm really enjoying it so far. And like I, I kind of gave you guys a rundown on the other products as I used them. I need to try out the um, shimmer eye glaze a little bit more, but so far it's not like out of this world something that I need a lot of. I'm usually like that with single shadows. ColourPop wins me over because I like them and they're affordable, but um, when it comes to a brand where it's $20 a piece, it's a little bit more steep for me to invest, but it is a unique formula and it is really pretty. I'm glad that I went with this shade. I think it's very vibrant and you could easily pull this off all over the lid without any other shadows. And yeah, but this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.